Our story begins in Cape Town, South Africa, known for its mountains, beaches and wineries. It is Africa's number one tourist destination. Yet, just outside of the city lies Kailicha, one of the townships that are home to the majority of South Africans. Originally established as part of the apartheid government's plan to segregate black people far from the comforts of the city, Kailicha has become the country's largest township with nearly one million people. Residents must struggle to overcome unemployment, makeshift housing, alcoholism, rampant domestic violence, and an ever-increasing rate of HIV infection. Educators Dorothy Garcia and Tom Harding first visited Kailicha to conduct literacy workshops and forge strong relationships with the teachers and artisans. In 2003, they formed an organization called Art Aids Art. We ran across some wonderful beadwork and thought, you know, this is a project that we, we would like to support. And we did that, and from one suitcase of beadwork, we were able to send the profits back to the community. But they bought a shipping container and turned into an art studio. In 2005, an artist approached Art Aids Art about selling her house for community use. At the time, Dorothy Garcia happened to be approaching a milestone birthday. So for my 50th birthday, we asked people to buy bricks, metaphoric bricks, uh, sort of yellow brick road bricks. And sure enough, by the end of that wonderful 50th birthday party, uh, between students and friends and colleagues and interested people, we had raised enough money to begin of the project, which is in Kailicha now, Ikai Ikazi. The next step was to design the space Californian architect Stephen Lewis, who was commencing a Loeb Fellowship at Harvard University, offered to assist. Well, six months later, uh, and a whole bunch of weekends later, though he and six students invited us to Harvard, actually, to work with them to look over this incredible uh, set of displays. They had done uh, mock-ups, computer-generated things. They built a scale model of the township, the local township, with different options of how the building could be built. So it was this remarkable uh, act of generosity. And then the construction followed based on uh, the input from the community. We spent about, uh, well, almost a year building the center and it finally came to fruition and was launched on December 1st, World AIDS Day of 2008. The multi-purpose community center is strategically located in a residential area with few community services or economic opportunities. There's a lot of poverty in Makaza. Most of people are unemployed. Ekaya Ekas now operates as a home base for several educational and economic development programs. We can host any sort of project, whether it be a yoga class, a silk screening project for local women, uh, after school classes for children. The center's first program focused on teacher training and literacy, working with donated children's books, a team of child workers, parents and volunteers, translated stories into the local Klosa language. The read aloud sessions were recorded onto DVD for wider use. Another ongoing program is small business skills training in which unemployed women are taught entrepreneurial skills to help them succeed as independent artisans. This is the group that I'm working with. We have started in doing uh, textiles on fabric painting. And now we are busy doing uh, t-shirt uh, silk screening. And we already have an order of printing t-shirts, which is very exciting. Lendo <laughs> 
siye kwi workshop sizo kwa zuku ifunda mole ndo sizo kuyenza sa kubega genjalo to foster self-expression art aids art encourages artisans to tell their stories through art creating an important archive of township life and addressing issues such as domestic violence, alcohol abuse and HIV AIDS. There's a lot of people who are HIV, who are living with the virus HIV and most of the time people are feeling so ashamed of themselves living with the virus. Participants have been able to gain strength through working together along with the confidence to seek additional resources. <laughs> Oh, unwana ndi na woku kuba ndi sevens um sevens we zanja. Di kola ge iska kulu ge na yulu into endi sevens anga yuka kulu. Yeah. Eh, di kale a pakuba ndi sandofika. Di kale, I think inya nga di na yon di lab. Koto ge ndi boni le into endi swa pa si agwa zu utunga noni tena wenzi chase ndi kwa wenzi li chase we iPhone. The center also generates income in order to support the local economy with the goal of becoming fully self-sustaining. Right now the center has um, an industrial kitchen which is intended to serve people hot meals or food who have need in the community. Um, it also can cater to tourists because the idea of the center too is to fund itself and by bringing tourists into the township to have authentic cultural exchange not just as kind of drive-by tourism. Seeing how people are coping on a daily basis and advancing themselves through their own efforts. So in addition to the kitchen, there's an art boutique where local artisans can uh, sell their work. There is a small bed and breakfast. We think it's probably Kailicha's smallest B&B and perhaps Cape Town's smallest B&B upstairs. We've developed an area for people to have the opportunity to stay on the township, be within the community of people we've been working with for over 10 years now. It's a different kind of immersion than most people have when they come to any country, let alone South Africa. And we've got this huge order from the Ripples of Hope and City Aid to make pins for their logo. Through our experience of getting this huge order of pins, those were visitors. So it's an advantage for us to get visitors. And also tourists who wants to come into the township, but they are not sure whether it's safe to do so and that is why our women are here and they usually take them on a walking tour and they are ambassadors for the township. Anyone want to sleep there is welcome to sleep in township. It's very good, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing place. has the potential to inspire participants to utilize their new skills in other communities, multiplying its effect beyond Kailicha. Yabona ngesi nomdla oba masipege pambi liklomse benzi suenza yo. Di nomdla ogu zbona namdi kwa zukwa zukumise la banyabandu nga pambi li kwe nyindawo namdi fige ni kwa zukumise ntwe fana na lena intlega ngaga yenzwe ululama. Uguba la apa kwe tu, apa kwe 39, singo mama batala, mna injongo za amu, ngoko kwa amu. Kukubana ndiye, ndatibana no mama, aba itanda endo, aba yenza ayo, aba fune anawo, inkubela. Kodwa njena kubasi, sota ngubana, singasi sifumane. The center has several new projects in development. A pilot theater program has been well received. And we, we, we just want to expand. We want to see the center have lots of activities that will help within the community. We're hoping to have a gardening in our, we've got a legal space in our upstairs. The sandy soil of Kailicha is very challenging for gardening. And it is our goal to help teach people how to do some, some home edible gardening. So that we can even in, involve um, men 
who are just sitting and doing nothing because they end up became very violent with not having jobs or something so that we can have them doing the gardening while the mamas are doing the production here and the seniors will be having soup and doing some crochet and the children will be reading books and helping them with homeworks and so on. In that way, we will be keeping everybody in the community to do some activities within the center. Sitela ubasinga ya kumana unge toka kulu, nandi umamu ula nandi ayuela kakulu nendolena, siza ukubeke kanje ubasin bona. We need to employ more facilitators, we need more equipment, we need materials, transportation and um, internet and telephone and so on, things that will keep us going on a daily basis. Dinga itandi nogu itanda koto antendo kupika kwa maapa nende la enda mkele genga anda bona uguti ayiko mwusu umtu inda wangana kwa zuku yenza kaa ekupu na uku kwa zuku yenza indo ndia huyaka kulu endi